so I got joy, 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 joy down in my soul. Said I've got joy, 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 joy down in my soul. Said I've got joy, joy, joy down in my soul. Said I've got joy, 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 joy down in my soul. If it was up to me, there was- what's up, Blended Squad? I want to welcome y'all back to another episode of Blended. Now, listen, the last time we were together, our family was getting ready to go to Breckenridge, Colorado. Before we got to Breckenridge, we had an incredible pleasure of stopping in Amarillo and experiencing some of the things that they had to offer. But now it's the morning of getting ready to go to Breckenridge. My family's crazy excited. Everybody's just trying to pack and get ready to head out of this Airbnb because, man, we've never been to Colorado as a family, but we are excited to be there. Mom, Airbnb was a success. JoJo, how was your sleep? Amazing. London, how was your sleep? She said this was yours. How was your sleep, London? Huh? Did you sleep good? So the Airbnb was very comfortable, real relaxing. But we're getting ready to break it down and head to Colorado. There's the missus. How was your sleep, babe? Thanks. You ready to go to Colorado? Yes, I am. All right, Tiffany says. I'm as ready. College. You ready to go to college? Peanut, you ready to go? Yes. Did you sleep good? Yes, sir. Day two, and we are headed to Colorado. Y'all excited? Yeah. Make some noise. Woo! Colorado. Or as Tiffany would say, we're going to college. We are first going to go to where? Oh, we're actually going to stop at this little bakery. Um, That's not what you just said. A Belmar, bakery. Belmar Bakery. Delmar Bakery. Belmar Bakery. Belmar Bakery. Shout out to Belmar for having the bakery. So, a lot of us are just really ready to be in Breckenridge. You know, we hit up Amarillo for a little while, but after we did a couple of things, our mind is just really set on where we want to go. My wife is a little bit different. Her whole idea of traveling is drain every city of what they have to offer until you get to the next city. So, she has breakfast planned. She has lunch plan she wants to go see different things she wants to go see canyons and the whole time we're thinking how, how about we just get to colorado all right we're gonna go to belmar bakery then what's next then we're gonna go to palo duro canyon palo duro canyon i wanted to go to the crosses place the lord of the crosses or the crosses whatever. place like it has like a cross it's ginormous and then like different stages of like jesus like in gold and bronze or something like that that's uh, what where is that at it's on the way, or I think it's on the way, but we'll see. Or we could just go straight to Colorado. He's not driving, so it really doesn't matter what he says. I mean, I, everybody wants to just head there already, you know? No, we don't want to stop. Now, during the process of trying to go through her checklist of what we need to do, the very first thing she has is for us to go have breakfast. Now, we, we didn't care. We could have done some McDonald's and sausage cheese biscuit and head out, but it's a vacation. Everybody has to feel valued. Everybody's wants and desires we need to try to fulfill, right? So we, we go try to have breakfast. Now we get to the spot and the line is packed. It's crazy. Pulling up to the bakery, it looks packed. Monday, people are at work. We're the only ones traveling. These guys must be doing some insane things. Look at all these. Look at the line. No, it doesn't look to be open. Right. Yeah, it looks dark. dark right. It says, sorry, we're closed. Where? Right there. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, yeah. Red sign. Well, that sucks. I wonder how far it is. Like to the house? Yeah. I can put it in right now and see. Show it. I'll, I'll check it out. All right, so we're heading to those places, day two. Everybody's packed. The um, Airbnb was dope. It was okay. What was okay about it? Uh, That's what happens right. when you're bougie. No. <laughs> For real, I, I what's wrong know. with it? I just, I don't know. There was just some things that I didn't like about it. Like? Turn right. 
how non bougie it was. Like I moved the couch and it was super dirty underneath. Like they're just it's a really pretty place, but they're just like their attention to detail was not all there. Touche. But they were really nice. They had a gift for us when we got there. Kids. I always like to go to places that people recommend that are like in the town. There's this place called English Field House for breakfast, but then we would have to get off with seven people. It's too difficult. So what we're going to do is we're just going to find something on the way. Because people are super anxious to get there. Like a McDonald's. Yes. We got a McDonald's. We're going to have to go to the bathroom. That's actually any fast food. Hey, man, for everybody watching, shout out to everybody who uh, suggested to go to the Big Texan. Hey, my favorite part was leaving. <laughs> So after we realized that we could just probably pick up something to eat and head out, we heard of this place called uh, Palo Duro Canyon, and man, it was gorgeous. I have to say, this was actually a pretty dope thing for us to stop and do. So the kids are like, man, what is this? What is this going to be? But we pull up and we get out, man, and we just see this incredible canyon. And it was dope driving through, just seeing how amazing our earth is and how amazing God is, the creation. So many things that are here, we, we don't even see on a day-to-day -day basis. But what's dope to me is that even though we don't see them, it's still here. So my favorite thing about traveling is being able to allow my children and just me to be able to experience earth and all the things that God has done. That's my favorite part about traveling. I mean, there's so many things that are to see uh, that the average person just doesn't get to see. But if you take time to be able to go out and see what's there, It'll just blow your mind. These canyons are gorgeous. So after seeing these canyons, you know, we finally say, hey, you know what, let's hit the road. Let's officially head to Colorado. So we leave Amarillo, Texas, and we're heading towards Colorado. And what's crazy is, man, from Amarillo to Colorado, it feels like you might pass two horses and a cow. That's about it. Everything else is open field. I was thinking in my mind the whole time, who in the world paved streets way out here? Like, there's nothing out here. While we're going on the way, man, we see a storm arising on the, the, the far left side of us. Now the cool thing about this is, because it's nothing but flat land, I mean, you get to really see some dope visuals of what a storm looks like in the distance. And we're getting closer and closer to Colorado. We slowly begin to see mountains. Now I'm born and raised in Dallas, Texas. The closest thing we have to a mountain is, is the ant hill I got in my front yard. We don't have major mountains and different things like that in Texas. So to be able to approach these mountains and see just how beautiful they are. My children have never seen mountains at all. But man, it's breathtaking. These things are so huge, but it's gorgeous. I mean, you got clouds surrounding the mountains with the rays of sun coming through. I mean, it's, it's hard to just focus on the road and the mountains that you can see in the distance. But seeing these mountains was a sign for us that we were closer to Colorado. The family's getting excited. We're super happy that we're getting closer and closer. Oh, we're here. Yay! Yay! Welcome to Breckenridge. So after so many hours of driving, stopping, using the bathroom, getting the kids food, stretching, going to sleep, crying, all those things, we finally arrive in Breckenridge. I thought that nobody's going to be there. Not the case. See, a lot of people think the same, although you might think you're unique and you're different. So a lot of people think just like you. I thought, hey, because of COVID, probably nobody's out and about, nobody's traveling. So let's just get away. Let's, let's go off grid for a little bit. Let's just go somewhere that a lot of people are probably not going to be. Let's go to Breckenridge, right? We pull into Breckenridge and it seems as though everybody thought exactly what we thought. And everybody happened to be in Breckenridge that weekend. It was packed. I thought they were going to shut the city down because, you know, with COVID and everything going on, it was just, you know, you couldn't really be around a whole bunch of people. This was still something fairly new, but man, it was amazing to walk into that, that, that place and to see so many businesses still functioning, so many people out and about, people riding bikes. It was restaurants wide open, open music, open. I mean, it, it's like nothing was going on. So we thought, well, 
we're here, I guess we got to make the best of it. So we're driving through and we're looking for our, our location where our Airbnb is going to be uh, for the next week. And we are having a hard time finding it, man. But the city is just beautiful. I love the way, like, everything is just like a compact. It, it reminds me of the city off of Beauty and the Beast. You know, when the opening scene opens up and then you have Bale walking through and everybody's singing, bonjour, bonjour, right? It reminds me of just this cool, close-knit community. Uh, but, man, Breckenridge has incredible views, incredible people, amazing restaurants. And I mean, it's just to drive through. It almost felt like uh, just like a fairy tale place, man. It was a very visually relaxing place. So by the time we get in and officially get settled, it's nighttime. We're tired. We're exhausted. I step out on the balcony just to take in this incredible atmosphere, the fresh air. Now, we're elevated like crazy, so it was different. But as I'm sitting there, I started to hear some ruffling. I look down and I see a visitor. He was welcoming me to Breckenridge and I was making sure that I gave him his respected space. We made it to the to the spot, but man, we are struggling to breathe. Most of us have a headache just because of the, the weather and we're just at a different climate level. Everybody's trying to adjust. He's in the bed because he has a headache. <laughs> Tiffany, how you adjusting? Good. Just have a sign. Hi. <laughs> Easy. So, Lyric and I have asthma and we have felt it. Something as simple as walking up the stairs, like, Something as simple as talking. Like, your breath leaves at every moment. Like, it's, it's crazy, but we're gonna try to have a good time. So first things first, we decide, man, let's go hit the city. Let's have a good time. Let's see what's going on in Breckenridge, Colorado. Headed to Main Street, day three. Day two. Day three, bro. We oh, left. On your, forgot. You ready? Uh, I guess, I mean, I feel like I got asthma. <laughs> All right, so me and my boy, we walking down the main street. My wife, who has no patience, she's left us. And she's training my children how not to have any patience either. They're all gone. But it's crazy because in the house, we can't breathe. Outside is way better. What do yeah, you think? I'm kind of vibing right now. Yeah, outside is way better. Like, I can breathe way better outside. But maybe just because it's a... Colorado's nothing but trees and mountains, so it's a lot easier to breathe here. But we're getting ready to go to Main Street and check it out. You ready? Yep. But man, just being there, being a part of the atmosphere and the scenery and the environment, guys, it's crazy beautiful. I mean, so many things to get into. There were so many restaurants, so many like stores with knickknacks and just, but to me, the most beautiful part is that you're doing all this and everywhere you look, no matter what side you turn to in the distance, is are these cool, like, just snow-capped mountains. It's gorgeous. Finally, we sit down to have a little lunch. We were trying to debate on what to get, but we all finally decided on one thing. So we sit down, we have lunch, and we're just enjoying the atmosphere. The vibe is crazy. People are in the streets. It's crazy music. But, man, it just it felt really cool to be somewhere different and experience something so different. So after we finish eating, uh, we see this little place that's down the street from us and it says art exhibit. We walk in and we see these incredible pieces of art. Man, this was some really talented work that we saw. Man, this is cool. This charges it though. Wow. That's really perfect. 9,000, you want to get it? How much? 9,000. 
Give me two of them. How you doing? Good. Good. I like that style of painting. Or the bear. This one. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a regular picture, baby. They just put the net over the screen. Did you have a real picture? One of my favorite things about being in Breckenridge, now mind you, it's only our official first day being there, but my favorite thing about being there is that as you're walking, you can hear flowing natural water. Um, you don't always see it, you don't know where it's coming from, but you can hear it. And if you follow the sound, it'll take you there. So as we're walking, we actually say, hey, let's follow the sound of this flowing water and see where it leads us to. We eventually come to this place to where there's flowing water going right through the, set, the, the city, the town of Breckenridge. And it was gorgeous. This is a natural flowing water. Like I said, once again, being from Dallas, we don't have stuff like that. We just got man-made lakes that are filthy dirty and nobody would ever be interested in seeing that flow. So after following the water for some time, we say, hey, I kind of want something sweet. Let's go get a dessert or a snack or something. So we're walking through the city and uh, we look up this place. It's called Meanie and Peenies. Now, the name sounds crazy, but it's a churro place, guys. Oh, man. They're... Chudos are amazing, and they had like cappuccinos, and it was just perfect. It was like walking into a getaway. There's nothing that I've ever tasted like this. Now, of course, you have Chudos, which everybody knows what they are, but very seldom do you have a Chudo that just tastes like out of this world. But inside of this place, man, it was so cool. They had it set up that was just pretty much custom to who they were as people. I loved it, man, because the owners of the restaurant, they named it after their children. And I love that because it was a very family-friendly environment. Credit card? Where's it at? It's just to build your credit. getting all types of chudos. We're trying different things that they have. It was pretty dope. Now, right before we get ready to leave, out of nowhere, it starts hailing like crazy. Oh, oh my man, he get knocked out. Let's go out there, Mr. Minion. Oh my goodness. Maybe one of those hailstones will knock some sense into him. Come in. All right, so we're here. Uh, man, we're still just kind of enjoying Colorado and everything it has to offer. But man, we were on the way, just kind of out and about because it started raining. So we just decided to take a, a little trip, just to kind of drive around until the rain stopped. And then we ran up on this lake. And man, let me show y'all something. <laughs>
would tell my children, you can put your feet in, but anybody that has children, you understand that your feet in pretty much mean you can go swimming. Look at Tiffany. <laughs> she gonna fall in. No, no, don't need it. Throw it. Throw it. They gonna fall in. Yay, Tiffany! Izzy got her iPad out. She's a YouTuber, babe. Why would she put the She's iPad in the backpack? She says she's a YouTuber, so she's recording everything. She's just like you. Yeah! Hey, were, Ben, were you recording? <laughs> Good job! All my children are soaking wet. It turns into feet, toes, ankles, knees, shins, and just the whole body soaking wet. Get a couple on Now, as we're getting ready to go, I look over and I see my children, they're taking rocks and they're building this little bridge from one end to the next. I love this moment because they were all working together. They made a decision. We want to take rocks and we want to build a bridge of rocks from this end all the way over so we can cross over. All right, Lyric, tell me what's going on. So right now we are trying to build a bridge out of rocks. Trying to build a bridge out of rocks? Yep. Where is the bridge trying to go to? We're trying to go to the other side. So, so far, oh, they're building a bridge from here Daddy, to there. Watch out. Tiffany, are you building a bridge? Yes. You have to. Just in the water. We stayed there for hours building this bridge. Oh my goodness. Oh, Update on the bridge to Terabithia. <sighs> Slowly coming along. Excuse me. <laughs> Are you trying to stone him or what? <laughs> Dang. It was too heavy, Apel. Like the girl that was. Oh, oh, oh. When we went to um the car. Uh, are you, oh. My turn. Uh, it, 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 it was done. We had a bridge from one end to the other, and my whole family could walk across it. But what I love about it, man, it was something that we did together as a family. And we're hoping that next time we go to Breckenridge, we can go by and see if that bridge is there. This bridge we call the Blended Bridge. All right. Getting ready to get in the hot tub with the kiddos after a long day. How y'all feeling? We feel great. Bye. Jacuzzi time. Right like a diamond. Y'all have fun today? Not today, yeah. we're going to straight track. No. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> So family, thank y'all so much once again for hanging with us. Please remember, even though the storms may come, remember to dance in the rain. God bless you. I'll see you on the next episode. Peace. So I got joy, 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 joy. down in my soul. Said I've got joy, 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 down in my soul. Said I've got joy, joy, joy down in my soul. Said I've got joy, joy, joy down in my soul. If it was up to me.